Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be telling you about a wonderful media literacy tool called Museum Ed. Now this is the online resource for education for Museum. This is the online resource for the brick and mortar location and there's a wealth of information here for primary resources, media literacy, all different types of stuff and I'm going to show you what you can find in this resource right now in the next few minutes. So you have a wide range of tools here on the left side of the page. You have Ed Tools, Ed Classes and Training, Ed Collections, Ed Ideas, Ed Community. Then you also have Media Literacy and Why Museum Ed. You'll also see all different types of information that they have that kind of repeats what's already there. Just a few things that I'm going to focus because I highly recommend reviewing and checking out this site on your own. If you click on Media Literacy, you're going to see they have media literacy booster packs, weed out propaganda with seeds. So when you click on that, you're going to get things like you have a selection of items. You have activities, you have lessons, you have primary sources, just a wide range of things that they offer here at Museum Ed. And so you get a poster with the acronym of SEED of weeding out propaganda. And the first thing you're going to notice on every page is it's going to ask you to sign up. And if you don't have access, it's completely free. All you have to do is go in and register. And when you register, it's username, email, password. It is 13 and up. You can show this to your students or you can use this with your students. Now, a few other locations you might like to look at, Ed Tools. Ed Tools are going to show you all different types of materials. You're going to see artifacts, artifacts. But if you start looking around, for instance, one of my popular, I kind of like to focus on a particular search. I like to use teens and politics. So if I use that in a search, I'm going to come up with artifacts. So this is going to show me a political primary document. It's going to show me the type. It's a newspaper. It's from the Post Intelligencer, the April 1917. This is the front page and the copyright is restricted just on this piece right at the moment. If I go back, you're also going to have artifacts, activities, Watergate video lesson. So if I look at this, it's going to talk about uh, the CNN political senior digital correspondent. Chris Moody describes how presidential candidates use social media to bypass traditional press, so on and so forth. So you can review through and see all of the different primary documents. Now, some material in museum.ed or museum ed is going to give you is more primary historical documents. Some you'll see, we got one right here on fake news, is more relevant to what we have going on right now. Fake news, junk news, media literacy, sources and finding sources, very important ways to uh, use and find. Well, this is actually about uh, journalists using anonymous sources. So you're going to see a lot of more of your primary or historical documents. But on the flip side, we also have information about voting primaries, all of those types of things. And then you can continue to look on through from here. They have ed classes and training on a variety of topics, fighting fake news, navigating museum, ace reporter challenge scavenger hunt, all of making change for civil rights, all of those types of things. You have ed collections. And this is where I was already showing you some of this freedom in the balance, making a change, first amendments in the civil rights movement, women, their rights and nothing less. And so a lot of material available here for you to use in your classroom, with your students, in your libraries. Great materials for ideas for lesson plans, exploring items by theme, activities, all different ideas that you can use in the area of news, literacy, media, and digital literacy. Lots of materials, completely free sign up. Wanted you to see it without being signed in so that you could see what it looked like before. You'll have full access once you're signed in if you're interested. But wanted you to see the wealth of information that is available for you here at Museum Ed. A wealth of information available for you and your students. Hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. More videos to come soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.